I did it. <laughs> okay, this is question eight. It says work out the volume of a square base pyramid. Volume, if we think of this square base pyramid originally as a cuboid, like that, and then you just think the pyramid is part of that cuboid. So what we're going to do first, we're going to find the volume of the cuboid, which is 3 times 3 for the base, and then the height, it says vertical height was 7, so that distance was 7. So to find the volume of the whole blue thing, it's 3 times 3, which is the base area, and then times 7. If you type that in, the answer is 63 centimetres cubed. But that's the whole thing. The pyramid is always a particular fraction of a cuboid. It's always one third of it. So to find the volume of the pyramid, <coughs> it's a third of this answer. So it's a third of 63 centimetres squared, and a third of, sorry, cubed, a third of 63 is 21 centimetres cubed. So that's question eight. That's how you find the volume of the square base pyramid. Next question. It's a cone, but you're given formulas for this. So let's scroll up a bit. It says, find the volume of the cone. Almost all of you did this correctly, because it is just substitution. You're told the volume here, so all you do is you recognise from this diagram that R is that distance, which is 3. H is the H there, 15, for the height. So the H is 15. And then you type it into your calculator. You type in 1 third times pi times R squared, which is going to be 3 squared and then times 15. When you type it all in, I've got a feeling it's 141.4 from your answers. If you type that in, that's the answer you get is correct. I just haven't got a calculator right now. So that's 141.4, and that's the volume of your cone in centimetres cubed. The next one, um, one person got very close, no one else got right. It was the surface area of the cone. Surface area is a bit different. Now, surface area, there's a formula given to you at the top of the page, and it says curved surface area is pi r l. Now, pi we know, just a number on a calculator. R we know is 3. The l is not 15. What I want you to visualise is this line coming down here, going across and coming back up. The l is that diagonal length. Remember, that's a right angle triangle. So, in fact, you've got 15 here, you've got 3 here you need to find this diagonal length. We did it in class, it's Pythagoras. So what you do to find this missing length is you do 15 squared, you do 3 squared, and you add them together. So it's 225 plus 9, which is 234. But that length can't be 234. You must square root your answer. So can someone square root 234 for me and tell me what my answer is? So that distance there is 15.3. Then, to find the curved surface area, you do pi times r times l. So you type in pi times r, which we said before was 3, times l, which was 15.3. And you get an answer for that. I'll ask someone to do that for me. 144.2. But that's just the curved surface area. That's just the surface area of this curved bit going around the outside, like that. However, you've got another surface. The other surface is the base. You could put your hand on the base underneath, because so that's a surface. So you've got the curved one, which you've got the answer to. You need to add on the base. The base is a circle. And the area of a circle is pi times r squared, where r was 3. So it's pi times 3 squared, so it's pi times 9. OK, can someone type in pi times 9 for me? Twenty-eight point three. So your base is twenty-eight point three. You've then got your curved surface area. Apologies. The curved surface area is one hundred and forty-four point two. You add these two together, and that will give you your total surface area of the cone. So the surface area of the cone is one hundred and forty-four point two plus the twenty-eight point three, which is one hundred and seventy-two point five. Okay. So that's your um, questions done. Um, ask me in class if there are any confusions. Thank you.